Once you guys got another video, don't install Windows 11 like this. So many people have recommended me to try Talon. It's basically an application you can download and then you run it on the system and it de-bloats Windows, uninstalls all the unwanted applications, does a bunch of tweaks and a bunch of other stuff to the actual operating system and makes Windows 11 more usable according to a lot of these people. So I did a bit of research and tried to download Talon onto a Windows 11 system but as you can see it was giving me a severe warning and blocking it completely and would not let me uh, use it on the computer to show you guys. I did manage to get around this just to show you what Talon is because I wanted to show you and the reason why I don't recommend doing this is not because I think it's malware it's because of all the headaches that you have to go through and the alarm bells that will be set off when you're trying to run something like this on a system. You can see I've turned off everything on Windows and it would not work. It would not let me run this application on here. I disabled all of Defender, all of the smart screen and stuff like that and it still kept flagging uh, the actual application itself. So I went to the website on GitHub and you can see it here, Talon is here and you can download the version here and uh, you can see it gives you a few warnings once you get to this stage it's going to ask you to save money save time and save your privacy in two clicks well it would do if you could get it to run on a computer i had to physically remove windows defender from the system so i could run this straight away you get a red uh, warning sign here you can go to the three dots click keep keep anyway and now i've got the zip file downloaded and once it's onto the system here uh, you can extract all of this and then try to run it unfortunately uh, if you've got windows defender on there it's not going to let you do it so i'll double click on this and run this as administrator you get malicious file right here unknown publisher it's in red and it won't let it run click yes to run you get a brief pop-up here saying threats found even though I've disabled everything. It says Windows Defender has been disabled, close this window to proceed. So that I went ahead and did that. And then you get this warning message here, which is normal. This is part of the Talon installation warning. And I click OK and I get another security alert. And then all of a sudden you'll get a brief pop-up on the screen and it blocks it. So I had to go ahead and download this numerous times before then I had to physically remove Windows Defender from the system. So now we can download the file one more time and I'll go ahead and I'll go through the installation process to show you what Talon does. You can see the Defender removal tool there that I use to remove Defender. Now I wouldn't uh, suggest that you go and do this on your system. That's not to say that I think Talon is a piece of malware. I just think that it's a big headache to get running on the computer. And I don't think you should have to remove any antivirus program to run any sort of program like this to debloat Windows. There's other ways of going about doing it, and I've made tons of videos showing you how to do it. Now you can choose your browser. Let's go with Brave here. And we're going to now say optional, install Raven software. Simple, powerful, privacy-focused, lightweight software designed just to work with the minimal distractions and hassle. What this means is going to remove Notepad and all that sort of stuff and use its own particular types of software on the system. And I'll show you that in a second once it's finished installing. This part did take a fair bit of time, uh, but I let it run and I'll speed this process up so we can get to... Uh, the actual final desktop and it will show you exactly what happens you'll see this for a while it will restart and then all of a sudden we should have a debloated windows 11 system and it done a pretty good job let me tell you at debloating windows but unfortunately i can't recommend it because obviously the amount of flagging by windows defender we are now at the desktop and this is what you're going to see raven is there and you've got a bunch of application links on the left hand side you've got scratch pad instead of uh, notepad and a bunch of other stuff on there 
like uh, Resmon and things like that. So th there is the actual start menu. It's pretty clean. And uh, again, you've got your settings panel right here. Nothing's changed here. Uh, all your privacy and security settings right here. And this is running stuff on the back end. So basically, I think it runs Chris Titus Text Tool and a bunch of other stuff on the back end. So you don't actually see any prompt boxes or any sort of yes and no. It does it all for you on the back end. So it's a pretty painless uh, procedure if you can get it to run on the computer. But why don't I recommend it? Well, at the end of the day, the reason why I don't recommend people do stuff like this is because it's getting blocked and majorly flagged by Windows Defender and it won't let it run and it deletes the file. Now, how can I promote something like that if that's happening on a computer? If I actually said to someone, the link's in the video description, go off and download it and use it on your computer and it did happen to have a piece of malware in there or a backdoor or something like that, then I would never be able to live with myself. So I just try not to promote stuff like this uh, because at the end of the day, uh, it is getting flagged and it's warning people not to install it or use it. That being said, I didn't find anything malicious in there. Now, the big problem I have is from a security standpoint, I can't recommend people do stuff like this. And I always say to people, if you don't understand something, then don't run it on your PC. You know, you're talking about an executable file which people can't freely look inside. And the same thing goes with code. If you don't understand what code is doing, then you're not going to know what's actually happening on the back end. And this is the big danger when you're running scripts or even executable files. And that even goes for tools like Chris Titus Text Tool. At the beginning of his channel, he actually mentioned how he doesn't recommend people run stuff like this on their PC. And then all of a sudden that's all gone out the window and it's all okay to run stuff like this. I don't really recommend people go out and do a lot of this stuff unless you know what you're looking at or what you're doing. The processes are really reduced as you'd expect. Uh, that's just a simple registry tweak that does a lot of that stuff. But again, utilization, uh, there's very little memory on here. We're on a virtual machine. But if it's game blocked, like I've said before, you really can't sort of recommend stuff because people are going to jump in the comment section and start screaming, uh, you know, malware. It's got malware and it. it's got backdoors in it. And everyone else's antivirus is going to be flagging it. And people just don't understand what false positives are and what real malware is. And I just don't want to get into that debate. So it's going to be use at your own risk type of thing. So again, Windows 11 has a lot of bloat inside of it. And there's many different ways of removing this bloat and there's many ways of disabling stuff like group policy and things like that. I try to lead people down the path of use something that you can see physically. Windows has all the tools to do a lot of this stuff. It just takes a bit more time and it's a bit more trustworthy when you're doing it yourself rather than running some script off the internet uh, that you don't know what it's doing on the back end. So be very careful when you download scripts or download programs off the internet and running them on your PC, because that's basically how you get infected. And that's basically how you can end up, you know, having major issues. The same thing goes for Defender Removal Tool. It's an executable file that you have no clue of what's inside of it. They might show you the code on their website, but what is actually inside here? And again, if I upload that to Virus Total, it will probably get flagged as malware. Anyway, that is basically Talon. I wanted to bring it to your attention and just show you it. Um, you know, I won't be leaving any links in the video description. You can do a simple search and you'll see it on the internet. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I would, wouldn't put this onto my main system. I would run it on a virtual machine. Of course, you're going to get people jumping in the comments saying it's clean, it's safe, it's a false positive, there's nothing wrong with it, or you fear mongering people, you know, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's it's a clean system, but you can get to this process many different ways and a much more safer and easier way than using something like Talon. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I'm waffling on now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. 
I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. If you haven't joined yet, it's free to join and I'll catch you over there. Bye for now.